Hey, what's up everyone? Bio here with this week's compression. This week, Monster Energy Supercross stopped by Houston, Texas for round 13 of the series. And Ryan Villapoto walked away with not only his win, but also his second championship in two years. This marks the first time in history that a rider has wrapped up the championship four rounds early. So congratulations to Ryan Villapoto, along with the whole Monster Energy Kawasaki team. In lights racing, Ken Roxon finally grabbed his first win of the season. While many expected the German sensation to be battling for the championship, the wins have eluded him this season. But Roxon's win was the result of a late race run-in that Justin Barsha had with Lance Vincent, who was being lapped. Barsha was leading on the last lap of the race when he and Vincent crossed paths in midair and both went down. Barsha was able to remount to take second place, but he was not happy at all. This kid has been on fire this season, but in Houston, that fire turned into a Three Mile Island style partial meltdown. Once he crossed the finish line, Barsha beelined it to Vincent, who was being tended to by medics. After yelling at Lance, he spun his bike around and roosted the medics in the process. Following the incident, Justin was fined $5,000 for his actions. Now, Barsha has caught a lot of flack for his behavior this weekend, but I think it just shows how much this guy really wants to win. It's what he's trained his whole life for, and now that he has a taste of victory, he's not gonna settle for anything less. It's like flying first class five times in a row, then being told when you're at the gate that you've been downgraded to coach. That would get the four letter words flying out of my mouth in no time. But the poor luck at round 13 didn't only belong to Bam Bam. Both Kevin Windham and James Stewart had endos that ended their evenings early. The latest on Kevin is that he will be out for the remainder of the season with a dislocated shoulder, injured wrist, thumb, and hip. It's a bummer to see the fan favorite take a tumble and his insane transfers during the opening ceremonies will be missed in the last four rounds. In typical Stewart fashion, the JDR rider somehow came away unscathed from his crash, later tweeting, I'm okay everyone, big get off, but somehow, luckily I don't have a scratch on me. This weekend, the 2012 FIM World Motocross Championships kick off in Belgium at Valkenswaard. Antonio Cairoli will be defending his MX1 title once again, but will have some new competition in Gautier Paulin, who has moved up to the Premier class. With other fast guys like Steven Frossard, Evgeny Bobrzev, and Clément de Salle, 2012 will be an exciting year for MX1 racing. In MX2, Jeffrey Hurlings will be going after his first title, but will have to deal with the likes of Tommy Searle, Max Anstey, and Arnaud Tonis. Unfortunately, American hopeful Zach Osborne broke his collarbone while prepping for the World Championships. No word yet on if he will be ready for round one. Here's hoping he shows up because Zach was absolutely flying this year earlier in Supercross. In other news, WMX rider Sayaka Kaneshiro will be joining Ashley Filik under the Honda Muscle Milk tent this summer. This follows the news that Jessica Patterson has also just signed up with the Rockstar Suzuki squad to contest the WMX series. It's great to see more factory involvement in women's racing. If you haven't heard, Ricky Carmichael signed up for a Loretta Lynn's qualifier this weekend, and the biggest news of all, he didn't dominate. He walked away in 25 plus, but he had some crashes in 450 Pro Sport, while up and coming amateur rider Jeremy Martin took the win. So will the GOAT return to Tennessee this summer? I'm betting that his competition hopes he doesn't. That's it for this week's compression. Supercross finally takes a break this weekend for the Easter holiday, but we'll be back for round 14 in New Orleans. It's springtime, so get out there and do some riding and racing. I know I will. See you next week.